Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Starting Out Solitary. Blind Rob here. Uh, this is week 265, I believe. I could be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong, but who knows? Covering in for Corvus once more. And this week, we are talking about the type of Claire we may be. Claire being, you know, a, 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 a number of terms that refer to spiritual or otherworldly or psychic sense versions of one senses. So there's like five sen five physical senses there technically. Actually, I think there might be more than five senses. I could be wrong. I mean, as far as like spiritual senses, whatever, whatever term you want to call it. Honestly, I tend to avoid the term psychic like it's the plague, but that's just me. My personal bias is showing. Uh, um, but, uh, okay, so I will be completely honest and upfront with you. I am not a fan of the term Claire anything, okay? Like, I understand that it's a neat, that, like, each individual term is a neat little way of telling people what kind of thing you got. But, I don't know, it's just, it's... I don't know if because those terms are so tied up with the whole uh, psychic community, psychic phenomenon, that I just have such an issue with them, or what, but I just don't use them. So, as far as like what I have, if I have anything, yes, I do have something. I've mentioned several times in my videos on here that I have the second, I have a touch of the second sight, which is a phenomenon, well, other, there you'll find it in some other cultures as well. It's, it's a phenomenon that has been documented in Irish and Scottish folklore. And it's basically just having the ability of otherworldly sight. Uh, be, being able to see things other than what's with the physical senses. And me being a mostly blind person, it, it could, on one hand it kind of comes in handy. Other times it's a right pain in my ass pretty much um yeah uh so i usually while the second sight shows up in individuals occasionally you will see uh situations occur where they it, it appears more often than not in particular families like i know i'm not the only person like in my family history who who has been you know noticed or documented to have had it in one form or another now in from my obser observation my experience talking to other people who have some form of second sight it manifests differently in other people so for me, it, it's a combination. How it manifests for me is a is a combination of a couple of things. One, there's a bit of ancestry and heritage involved, and some crazy shenanigans there. But it's also connected to my disability. I've noticed that the more that my physical handicap, my physical blindness, has gotten stronger, the more my spiritual sense of seeing has also gotten stronger. Um, for me. Uh, for me, my version, my variant of the second sight never stops working. It is always on. It's not something that I can control. It's just a part of me. I am always seeing something. I'm always glimpsing something. And how that manifests, how that is seen and translated to me, to my spirit, to my brain, will depend. At the very basics, I am constantly seeing... A never-ending flow of vibrations, of energy, of colors that pulsate in different, you know, at different speeds to different, you know, intensities. Um, and it's something that's always there. It, it will never goes away. The only time that there's only two times that I do not have access to the second sight, and that's either when I am spirit journeying or when I'm dreaming. And there are some ways I can tell that I know for sure when I'm dreaming versus when I'm spirit journeying or I'm in a, in a heavy trance. One of those ways that I can tell is whether or not I, have still have my sense, I still have access to my sense of smell. 
if I'm spirit journeying, if I'm in a, if I'm in trance, I still have access to my sense of smell. If I'm dreaming, however, I do not have access to my sense of smell whatsoever. I don't know why that's the case. That's just you know how my brain, how my spirit works, I guess. But I am constantly seeing things all the time, getting something, and at its very basic level, it is, like I said, pulsating streams of energy, color. It's almost like a flowing river or a flowing sea or something, to, or like a, a, a bubbling cauldron that is, is constantly bubbling and fizzing and flowing. Um, but throughout the day, every day, I am constantly getting images. Sometimes they're still images. Sometimes they're moving images. Sometimes they are scenes elsewhere, be it on this plane of existence or on other plane of existences. Sometimes I see, de see deity. Sometimes I see spirit beings. Um, I don't use the term auras, but I see something I can, if I look at a person, excuse me, I can get a glimpse of what their energy, what the what colors their spirit, their energy is made up of. Sometimes I can get uh, can glimpse other things such as their animality or their inner animal. Sometimes it's ancestors, particular ancestor spirits that are attached to them. Sometimes it's particular deities or companions or spirit guys. They're so close to them that their energy touches on them, and so that I, regardless of whether or not they want to be seen. They sort of come through when I see them. Okay, so uh, there's way more detail. Like, I could go on and make this like a three, four hour video, just all the various details about how, how I experience it and how it works for me, but I won't go there. I just figured I'd just share some of the more pertinent details. That's honestly when it comes to what I like, what I prefer to refer to as the second senses, the senses of the spirit. In my case, the second sight. It's the only one that I have that is an innate gift. It's an innate ability for me. There are other things that I can do. I can sometimes, as far as like the uh, specifically referring to the other senses, there occasionally I will get like audio, like you know, second audio, second hearing, so to speak. I'll get things. Um, it's not something that I really have much control of. Like, it's not something that is as fluid or is as natural to me. It's not something that I have a natural knack for. Like, I have some kind of knack for it. Like, it's, but it's not as strong or as prevalent as my second sight. My second sight is so, so prevalent, partly because it's so attached to me and it is so, um, I guess it's one of the most powerful things that I can do that is a part of me um, that it tends to push everything else out of the spotlight and so that everything else <laughs> is kind of in the corner. So when it comes to something like second hearing, I can do it, but I got to be in a... I got to be in a state of mind, a state of being. I have to be in some kind of like light trance in order for it to work at all. Don't need to do that with second sight. Any of the others, um, the only other one I can think of is, I forget what it's called, but it's the one where second knowledge, like there are occasions where I will end up having bits, pieces of information downloaded directly into my spirit, downloaded directly into my brain by either my deities or my fairy companions or... What else is going on, or whoever whoever else might be there, you know, doing it that I might be interfacing with, I might be interacting with, um, sharing space and time and being and spirit and energy with, at that given moment. But um, I mean, as far as it goes, I'm of the opinion that those kinds of abilities, just like anything else, that is tied to the spirit, tied to the mind, tied to whatever we want to believe in or what term you might want to use. I'm of the opinion that while humans, humanity as a whole has the potential to, ha to do anything, to have anything, 
that doesn't mean that everyone is going to have a knack for it. I know for a fact that there are some things that I just cannot do and never will be able to do, no matter how hard, how hard, or how much, how hard I try, or how much effort or energy I put into it trying to learn or accomplish it. It's just with, it's just completely outside of my capabilities. But some things, like for me, my second sight is just a part of what I am. It's 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 a almost an imprint almost like a fingerprint on my spirit some people will have innate natural gifts natural abilities with these kind of, these kind of things it's it will be as natural and as fluid to them as breathing or speaking for other people it is something that they will have to that they can figure out that they can learn how to do that they can get better at it through time and trial and error and effort. And the more they learn, the more they practice, like any other skill, can become more efficient with it. Same with me. Same with me in the second sight. Like, yeah, like the first time my second sight, I noticed it, the first time I noticed it manifest was when I was a preteen. I was like 11, 12 years old. And it's been with me ever since. Um, but just because I've had it since then, that doesn't mean I've, I've had the same level that I have with it now that I did back then. No, I've had to go through so much experimentation, so much trial and, you know, an error to figure out what I can and cannot do with it. And even after all these years, I am learning something new, maybe not every day, but I'm almost always learning something new about it. A little tidbit, a little new method or new way that uh, I can cook can coax more information, more insight out of things than I was able to before um, and that's I, I I'm of the opinion that that's that's everyone like regardless if it's an ability or a skill or something that is just one of that's just part of your innate natural born gifts or it's something that you pick up that you figure out how to do along the way the more you exercise with it, the more sh the stronger it will get. The more efficient you will become with it, and I think that's true just for just about anything. Anyway, so yeah, um, I hope I hope this uh, hope this helps. Uh, it's all it's always great, you know, to be able to share my opinions, my perspective of things on here with y'all. Uh, take care. Until next time, a breach bus.